Okay, in our last video, we learned how to plot a cost formula using the um, scatter graph method. In the video before that, we learned how to do it using the high-low method. In this, our final video in the series, I'll show you how to use Excel to do a least squares regression model. We said the problem with the high-low method was it only uses two data points. The problem with the scatter graph method is you're using a visual inspection, you're looking, you're drawing your best line, and your best line might be sketchy. The linear regression or the least squares regression model kind of gets around both of those problems. It formulaically uses all the data to determine a line of best fit. So I've got the data here in Excel and all you do, and Excel's so weird, if I highlight all this data it's going to screw it up. But if I just highlight these two columns it'll get it right. So I'm going to say insert, scatter, and I want a scatter graph. And there it is. I'm going to just get rid of the title and the uh, legend there. And uh, there's my scatter graph. You might say, well, that's not much of a line of best fit. Well, I could certainly draw a line now on it. I could use my pen and draw a line. I think for fun, I'm going to draw a line, and I'm going to let Excel draw a line, and we'll see who gets, uh, well, obviously Excel is perfect. We'll see how close I get. Uh, let's try... Okay, there's my line. That was my best guess at what this regression line is going to look like. And I'm going to make Excel draw one. And to make Excel draw one, let's get it out of the pen tool, what you do is you click on any data point, and I'm going to say Add Trend Line. And it pulls up this Options menu. And the trick for me is I want the trend line to go all the way to the intercept. So I want it to go back 300. I don't want it just to be a short trend line. I want it to go backwards 300 from the last piece of data, and let's make it go forwards 100 as well. Um, and I also want it to display the equation on the chart, because I want to see what the equation is. So let's take a look. Oh my god, look how much better the Excel one is. Let me just erase mine. There's the Excel line. I was way off. You can see y equals 1.7x plus 1505. Let's again I'll put my line back up. I would have had an intercept close to a thousand. And Excel's is of course going to be the right one. So again, if you want to do this, it's pretty easy. I'll just go through all the steps again, because you can do it in Excel with any data you like. You highlight the two columns, X on the left, Y on the right. If you highlight the January, February, you get something screwy. I'll tell it to insert a scatter chart. Then I'm going to right click on any point in the series. I'm going to say add a trend line. And with the trend line, if I want it to actually look like a line that intercepts, I've got to say, okay, well, actually, let me just close it. You can see there's the trend line. Um, fair enough, but I'd like to see the, the full line. So you can see it stops at 300 at my, my earliest piece of data and goes to 600. I'm going to say, okay, I want you to go 100 further. I want you to go all the way back to the axis that's 300 back. So let's format this thing. Uh, format trend line. I right click the trend line. I say, okay, I want you to go forward 100 more and back 300. And also, rather than making me calculate the formula, Excel can do a better job of it than I can. Why don't you go ahead and display the equation? Show me the equation. And there it is. And so I can have faith that that's a good formula for a line. And that is what the line should have looked like had I done it right. Now, again, if I flip back to my line, not exactly, right? 1320 was what I ended up with. Interestingly, my line did a slightly better job than the high-low method. The high-low method, 2.1667 plus 1300. My line had a better intercept, and I think the slope was a little bit better as well. Uh, anyway, we're going to leave these videos here. You now know how to prepare a chart using uh, the high-low method, the scatter graph method, and definitely the best method of them, the um, uh, least squares regression method. And to get Excel to do the legwork is, is nice. All right, that's it for this video series.